Hello, and welcome to Endless Mode. I'm Captain Emoji. And I'm Mysterious Gamer X. And this is some excite bike. I'm so excite bike right now. Alrighty. I've always loved it for its rich soundtrack. <laughs> I don't know if you guys missed the uh, opening sequence there. The... <laughs> but it sounds like it was played on a, well, a series of kazoos. <laughs> and now welcome to five minutes of wah! It's like Wario in here. Oh, yeah. I forgot. They wanted the authenticity of the engine noise to be prevalent. So we have this wonderful droning sensation. Yeah. Like a swarm of angry bees unleashed upon us. Yeah. Remember this game from my childhood. It was in the uh, arcade cabinet in the motocross... Dang it. A motocross store my dad would go to for his... Uh, did dirt bikes as a kid and stuff. During the era of random video arcade machines. Being places. Yeah. Like grocery stores. <laughs> Those were the days. Granted, were they were they? Slightly I mean, they, marred they, by this being what was on the arcade machines. They, they were days, so I guess you're not wrong, but... I mean, we're talking about paying, like, 50 cents a pop for something that you can play on your phone now. Oh, no, this, back in the day, this was, this was a quarter a pop. You could not get people to pay 50 cents for this. But, all right, first place against nobody. We accidentally hit game A mode, so it's just going to be by me by my lonesome until I can't make the time trial. That's okay, though. I mean, the other players were sort of arbitrary anyway. That's true. Visually appealing, sure, but... They didn't really do much. It's not like it's Road Rash where they're going to fight you. Yeah, you'd be surprised. If one of them gets their back wheel and your front wheel, you go for a spell. I suppose that's true. I was always I was always sad there was never a two-player mode for this game, though. It really felt like a game that should have. That's true. Uh, like Super RC Pro AM, which did have multiplayer. Or Excite Bike 64, now that was a game. It even oh! had sticks you could hit other players with. I forgot about that. I didn't have a 64, though. Ah. That was during the dark times. Alrighty. Or Excite Truck, which was bizarre. Oh, wasn't that a... that was for the Wii, right? Yeah, one of the first games I got for it. Do we still have that somewhere? I still have that somewhere if you want to pull that guy out. That, that might be a later episode. I gotta warn you, that one's... Let's just say it uses motion controls. In brave and exciting new ways. Was brave this a release title? New... Oh, yeah. Oh, those are the best. <laughs> My favorite was Red Steel. <laughs> it kind of roughly simulated having a sword and a gun, I guess. Like, I definitely got the feeling that's what they were going for. Oh, yeah. Um, but they weren't really sure how the control controller waggles were going to actually work yet. Yeah. Oh! I don't want to fall all the way down. So much time. You get to watch your guy walk back <laughs> at a jaunty pace. Stop for a sandwich, maybe a few autographs. Man. Seriously, it's a lot of frames of animation when he wipes out. No! Like, there are more frames of animation for you walking back than possibly any other thing the game does. I can only imagine how much of the cartridge space was walking animation for dude. That's true. But, you know. Until you get to the graphical capability to... Not again. That giant hill just ends you. Usually so much better than this, <laughs> I'm gonna claim performance anxiety. I'm gonna claim I'm glad you're playing. <laughs> uh, I remember wiping out on the equivalent of the bunny hill, basically. I know as a kid I did not understand that temperature gauge at all, which is... Painfully embarrassing looking at it now and knowing exactly what it did. Yeah. I just remember that my bike would stop sometimes. Yeah, a lot of kids rely on just holding A and not worrying about the boost at all. And I mean, there were a lot of games that were just hold A. Yeah. Uh, and that, you know, there wasn't such a thing as a boost or a temp gauge. So, I guess I'll give it credit for having more complexity than uh, a lot of the same era of games. Fun fact, if you hold down the boost button when you're at the start there, your temp gauge would still go up. You can just 
rev your bike for fun and burn out at the start. Yeah. Good times. So I forget, what are those tiny things there? The little, like, bracket looking things? Oh, just moguls. You have to, uh. Damn it. I didn't hang out at a bike shop. I'm. I know that those are hills, but that is my understanding of motocross as a sport in its entirety. Uh, I forget... I forget exactly what they're called, but... They're basically the moguls you'd see in downhill skiing. Oh, okay. They largely exist just to be annoying. Theoretically, you're supposed to hit the first one fast enough that you can just pop your rear tire over the rest of the ones in the, ch in the chain. But, uh... I was on little kid motorcycles, that never worked out so well. Ah. But, I will say I largely avoided them as a kid, because unlike the ramps, they didn't shoot me through the air. Yeah. And, well, I've tripped over my share of them in this game. So this will be the end for me, it looks like. That's okay, I, I think you did pretty good, uh, considering you played this cold. There we go. To get over the little mogul guys, you just press on the back button, do a wheelie. So yeah, if you hold back, you do a wheelie, it gets you more air. When you go off a jump, if you press forward, you'll go on your front tire. Which is Am I useful playing the same for... game mode? Yep. Are we doing this? We're doing this. Okay. You're up now. I'm gonna take track one, which is the bunny hill. Which buttons accelerate? Both of them. Ah. B is boost, though. B is boost. Okay. So you're not going to overheat if you just use A. It won't go very fast either. But... So little arrows on the screen there reduce your temperature gauge. That's what they do. Yeah. I remember this, they did something involving go fast. And if you hold on the back button when you go across a jump, you get more air. If you uh, straighten out or match the angle of whatever you're landing on, you won't bounce, and that'll save you some speed. And if you hit the mud, you slow down. I remember mud slow down. That's about all I remembered. A little red motocross team. Hey, cat. How you doing? This is our cat, Sean. He's gonna pop in every now and then and say hi. He's a very talkative cat. He may be the most talkative member of our crew. <laughs> not talking right now, though. He's just going to hang out on the couch. He's going to prove me wrong, like that singing frog from the Looney Tunes. Oh, classic Looney Tune bits. Will you ever not be funny? Eh, some of it's a bit culturally insensitive now, but... Fair point. But, but by and large, by and large, the, the jokes that weren't about a group of people are still pretty, uh, comical. But you got second place, that means you get to play the next track. I'm amazed I've made it this which far. Which is a lot like the first track, with just some more bumps in it. That's all it takes. Design was simpler back then. All the other arrows will be in that top there. I wonder if they'll ever make Excite Bike Maker. Like uh, like Mario Maker, but for you, Excite Bike. You bikes. can actually do that on this, this game. Really? You design your own tracks. It's fairly rudimentary, but... Uh, it's definitely a thing that exists. Do, do we need a special, like, trackball mouse attachment? No. I'm just picturing this being arbitrarily hard. Well, it's not easy. Oh, that's unfair. Not arbitrarily hard. I'm just picturing having to do it with, you know... Two buttons and a D-pad? Yeah. Making those sweet jumps. Sweet jumps. Some sick air. So if it's you press just... the buttons, you run back to the bike faster. Oh, really? Uh, it's, it's a Nintendo game. Button mashing is great. I did not know that. I don't think I ever knew that. <laughs> this game is as close to the X Games as I will ever be. Hey, we can play California games at some point. That's true. But that's a second place finish, and you can go on to the next track. I'm just barely scraping by on this now. Okay.
This is probably it for me. I can't... I can't imagine I'm gonna make it much further. Oh, yep, there it goes. There we go. Oh, I didn't need it on the second one at least. Hey, alright. They're gonna overheat though. Does button mashing help with overheating? No. Oh. There's no hope for overheating. No. Okay, I think I'm getting this down. So if you press back on the D-pad when you go up those uh, small hills, you'll get more air and that'll help you hit the back side of the hill. Oh! If you do it well enough, you can press forward to hit the back side of the hill at, the, at a matching angle and keep all your speed and then just keep on going that way. Oh! Wow, it's like there's so much strategery to this game that I never knew about. Surprising amounts. I think I'm using it for the opposite purpose. Eh, yeah, well, it takes some getting used to. Now, for the next time you play Excite Bike. In another decade! Well, you made it to the same track I did. Incredulously. But you got first on most of these. Yeah, well. All that matters is your place. I suppose. <laughs> I'm amazed at how incredibly go. quiet and docile your crazy cat so, is. Oh, moguls! I suppose that's one way to deal with them. That is how I've dealt with them since childhood. I don't know. I don't know another way. I listened to your explanation. I'm not saying I didn't. <laughs> I just my mind can't wrap its primitive brain meats around that. <laughs> Fair enough. If I go over one, it's entirely by accident. Now, oh. of course, I've turned someone into a machine for counting those. Someone is going to post it at the bottom, I am assured. Well, so far you've done two. Good job. Oh, and there we, there go. we go. That's what I remember them doing. Like... I found it very interesting to learn that they have a purpose outside of wreck me. <laughs> yeah. Well, it wouldn't be motorsports without the chance nope. for gratuitous injury. <laughs> I actually forgot I was playing a game for a second and just sort of let him meander back. Well, I wasn't going to say anything. Well, sure. If I don't make it past this, then we tie. <laughs> I can claim a technical victory on having a better time. It's true. And there we are. That's Excite Bike. Alright, that's about as far as we can get, apparently. This is the limit of our abilities. Yeah. Alright, we'll play something else weird for you next time on Endless Mode. Catch you later.